Welcome to this lecture. Um, in this lecture, uh, we'll talk about Landsat visualization. Um, so we'll use the Python uh, API um, uh, of the Earth Engine um, Cloud Platform. And um, the first thing is we need to install, um, rather import the Earth Engine um, library. Um, because we are using Collab, the Google uh, Collaboratory Platform, Earth Engine is by default integrated. So unlike Jupyter Notebook, you don't have to um, manually install it's it integrated. Uh, rather, what you have to do is um, import the Earth Engine uh, library and authenticate and initialize um, to access Earth Engine uh, in a Python API. So uh, I have done already um, the um, importing authentication and initialization myself and you need to do it if you have not done so so in this uh, lecture what we'll do is we'll visualize um, we'll import the landsat data um, using the earth uh, engine data archive and um, we'll um, um, filter by time and also space um, we'll apply some sort of um, you know, um, compositing algorithm uh, over that Landsat collection, uh, image collection, and we'll create some visualization parameter and display our Landsat imagery, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing is usually uh, because Landsat is a global data, I usually like to have some sort of a subset or a, a region. Um, in this case, I'll add, um, you know, Camtris database. So the first thing is to load um, countries data and so I'll just name a variable countries and um, import the feature collection you can get this from the Earth Engine library so I'm um, I'll provide the the feature collection ID for that shape file that I'm interested to use, which is called us dos slash lsib simple slash twenty seventeen. So what this will give me is a uh, uh, and a semicolon after. Okay, so now I have declared a variable and imported uh, the feature collection of the shape file. Um, so this is a global uh, countries database. And because this is a global database, I would like to filter um, by region for, for example, I'll choose Ethiopia as a specific um, example in this case, so that um, I would like to um, use a lot of data only over um, Ethiopia. So my uh, other variable is here Ethiopia and so the next thing is um, what I'll do is just filter um, Ethiopia from countries feature collection. We, we already defined countries here so what I'm doing here is countries filter and we need a bracket and the filter is um, used to um, filter a database from the Earth Engine uh, feature collection so equal and then colon um, I'll provide the country name in this case so each country has um, a field called country equal and a and then you can write the name of the country so country and is just the name of the country so specifically here you'll write the name of the country in this case all right Ethiopia okay so this two lines of code uh, will a subset um, will import a global um, country's boundary and subset it to a specific country, in this case Ethiopia, okay? 
So the next thing is to import the Landsat data. So I'll load the Landsat data. data. And then um, what I'll do is just um, declare variable Landsat. And uh, because it's an image collection, I'll say um, I'll cast EE image collection. Actually, it will provide me that and then I'll enter and a bracket and then provide the uh, image collection ID. In this case, I'm, I want to use Landsat 8. So I'll provide that specific um, collection ID slash LC08, that means Landsat 8, that's the sensor name, and collection one data. Okay, and then tier one. I think that's it. And then, because this is a, a global data, which year am I interested to use? So I'll subset by time. The next thing is filter. I have to change the caps. Filter date. And then I'll provide the specific um, date well, that I'm interested. Um, in this case here, um, I'll start from 2016, 2016, 01, 01. That means January of 2016 and comma, the start year and the end year. So the end year would be um, 2017, 01, actually, 0101 yes and so now I have selected um, um, you know Landsat 8 data um, which spans only for for one year 20 2016 the entire 2016 okay and the next thing is let's subset by um, uh, a special filter which which I'll be using filter bound filter bound And then, because I already have declared um, a parameter uh, my, for my study area or region, I'll just simply cast that Ethiopia, semicolon. Um, actually, I don't need a semicolon because that's not a Java script. This is a Python API, so Python doesn't need a semicolon at the end of the statement. And so this will import actually my Landsat image um, collection for this specific time and specific location, okay? The next thing is let me apply um, a simple compositing algorithm, which is an Earth Engine built-in algorithm. So I'll uh, declare a variable called composite and I'll call the Earth Engine Simple Composite Landsat um, uh, our, our algorithm. Algorithm. Algorithms actually. Oops. I need to make this. Okay. Actually, algorithms here. I don't have to write. I can simply enter. And. Landsat simple composite. Okay, so the Landsat simple composite, and then you need a um, couple of asterisks, and then so you need to provide the collection. So the collection is. Um, we already defined our uh, image collection here. It's, let me actually close this quotation. So mind you here, we have already defined an image collection. So we'll put this image collection, uh, which is Landsat. Okay. And the next thing is, um, we can make it as float. That's the, the output um, we define it as true that means 
it will provide us the output as uh, uh, floating data and so now the next thing is to visualize before we visualize we would define some visualization parameter in this case RGB is let's define a visualization parameter declare that and a semicolon and define bands and out of outside of that quotation and then I'll define the different bands which bands do I need to use for this color composite and I need band this is Landsat 8 so I'll, I'll use band 4 and band 3 I need a quotation here band 3 and band 2 okay so the next step is actually this is um, a true color composite then we need to visualize also false color composite before we do that let's finish uh, um, this visualization parameter let's add some minimum and maximum value um, min and define zero and then the max is point there are three so max we need a quotation and max is probably point three so that's a reflectance value close the curly bracket and another one visualization parameter is um, near this so visualization for the near infrared band or the false color composite okay and then that would be again the same thing actually we can copy this and just modify it a little bit so that we're not writing this again so for this one instead of band 5 we do band a band instead of band 4 we do band 5 and band 4 and band 3 that's the band combination that we want to visualize and in this case uh, instead of um, the you know the defining the maximum value um, we'll put uh, different values here 0 0.5 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 close the bracket okay so now we have imported a shape file we have imported our landsat image collection defined a visualization parameter okay so the next step is uh, let's just actually copy our uh, folium um, you know so mind you this is a python api so unlike the javascript api which is the, the uh, integrated visualization parameter we import a folium package and this is a function that provides the mapping of our, our um, you know visualization parameter that's defined here so i'll um, add this parameters the visualization parameters here and here and also import our composite data okay we have the composite data um, and which which we applied the simple composite um, algorithm so let's execute our code actually and see what we will have execute that we have some syntax error um, in the collection uh, what's what's going on here we have some error just let's investigate what's going on here so oh I see we, instead of a bracket we need to do a curly bracket here okay and we need to close that curly bracket again and instead of a double bracket here we'll do the curly bracket here it should work now oops again so equal sign is we have some error over here Equ where is that okay when we filter we said equal oh okay filter 
filter equal okay here we go this is the ear this should be capital actually yay so our script is working now so we have some uh, syntax errors we just fixed that um, some typo in the code and now let's visualize whether our you know composite um, Landsat composite um, map uh, in a true and false color composite is working let's just um, execute this part of the code that will help us visualize our Landsat map um, in a folium package excellent so we have now um, processed Landsat data for 2016 uh, true color composite and the false color composite this is the RGB the true color composite and then this is a false color composite fantastic that's the end of this lesson thank you